I love and miss you so much. I hope you get a lot of dick in 2015. We're looking through my weird old stuff because when I was FaceTiming Grace a couple weeks, days ago, days ago, couple days ago, I she was showing me her weird old stuff and I, I thought it was funny, so I'm gonna show you my weird old stuff. So here we go. When I was in seventh grade, I had a really good friend, her name was Emma, and she made me this scrapbook. It showed me a letter and a picture of herself, so I wouldn't forget what she looked like. And it was super, that's like super, super cute and whatever. But there's only four pages, because the rest of it, she wrote on the note that she left it blank, so you can fill it up with all of my new friends. <laughs> Which I don't and think she understood what like the concept of a scrapbook was, that you should like go about memories and like... It should be about like our friendship. <laughs> You're not gonna like, I'm not gonna spend time making these like detailed scrapbook pages. I was looking through this. Look at this picture. This finally, look at me, number one problem. Um, but look at the, there's an oddball in this picture. I have no idea who that is. This is another scrapbook that I made when I was, I, this is when I lived in Illinois. This is like a while ago, this is like five years ago. Um, my, Illinois best friend made me this scrapbook that said to my EBB everything buddy buddy aka Sam as if I did not know it was from it's like a and it's actually oh my god it's so cute I love it and then look at I always have been like a weird kid <laughs> when it comes to like Halloween and stuff so I never really know what to dress up as and then I wait for like the the day like the day for Halloween I'm like oh crap I need to get a costume together and you can see that clearly in this picture because my cross the street neighbors, little Cocos, were nerds. My best friend Grace was a bedhead, and we were just these <laughs> creepy, scary cre people. Ugh, terrible. This is a dream journal. Yeah, <laughs> I had a dream journal. At work, had to get ice for hours with just a water bottle, and the person just wanted an ice water. So I had to go and I, I she's gonna see this and I'm gonna give her an excuse right now. She's gonna see like that I'm clearly ignoring her. I'm busy, Kaya, doing important things, important business. I think this is the funniest thing. Um, this is a, another scrapbook that friends made me this scrapbook because we can uh slame was my nickname with these particular friends because they mixed my name and the word slay because because I don't know I just, they just did okay and it all it's just like these weird like youtubers are in here there's like all these pages of whatever but listen they screenshotted my um selfies on my snapchat and I just realized how much I hate myself every time uh, what am I doing? These are like very clearly like try hard pictures. Oh god, I hate myself. Okay. But look how cute it is. They like filled it out with letters. This is when I moved from Wisconsin. So I show quiet, whatever. Okay. Throwbacks when I was obsessed with O2L. And, um, confession. I had a obsession with, uh, Aki and Lolly. Ugh. Look at how thirsty I am. Oh my god. There's Kian, and I read this thinking that it was like a nice little poem. It's the Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life Tumblr post. So, this is my seventh grade I Fremont Middle School ID. Then I have all these letters that I'm just gonna pick a couple. Look how popular I am, look how many friends I have. Oh my god, okay. My really good friend, my really good friend Jordan, uh, who lived in Wisconsin wrote me these cute little letters that have like dates on them on when to open six months after moving and I never opened August 19th 2015 shoot me for not in touch anymore somebody shoot Jordan Lee <laughs> somebody needs to go shoot her because we're not in touch anymore someday I'll tell my good stories about me and my best friend Sam and how love and hate can go hand in hand. Oh my god, that's... Oh, man. Man, oh man. 
<laughs> we we have this drama where we really hated each other's guts for like six months, and she's gonna tell her kids that you learn a lot about somebody when you hate them, and you learn a lot about somebody when you love them, and I think that's really symbolic for everybody involved. Well, this is a letter that my friend sent me on the on the back of a box of uh, handmade candles. Some of the terms in this letter are a bit explicit, so. Children, cover your ears. <laughs> I love and miss you so much. I hope you get a lot of dick in 2015. The bulk of that dick comes from Robbie K. I'm gonna show you a picture of Robbie K. Just so you know who he is. I love you so much. So in this box, she wrote what she put in them. Um, complete with the finest tweezers to satisfy your eyebrow needs. Um, I need to pluck them because they were, they were rough. Um, the fl flamboyant magenta underwear is to add to your collection. And socks with fish on them. I have no idea where two out of the three of those things are. This is a heartfelt gift. Whitney, I love you and I miss you and I- she's like me and Whitney still keep in touch. We're so friends. So that's cool. Okay, this is gonna be the final one. So I just need to reminisce. Oh my god, these are pigs. Oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, here is a bunch of pictures of literally there was this girl. And oh my god. Look at that one. That was literally freshman year. Ugh, bad times. Bad times. Why was I wearing that purple sweatshirt? Nobody knows. So there's this girl, and we have this drama over something stupid, because I was probably 8th grade. I was probably 8th grade. And she wrote me this letter. I think she was literally like denouncing our friendship. So I'm gonna read it aloud. Not the whole thing, because it's really long. Okay, alrighty, there's like shade before she even said, Dear Sam. You might want to read this yourself before you share. This is October 25th, 2012. Dear Sam Schuler. She's making me Oh! I had to choose between two groups of friends because I was I was just a pretty I'm a pretty social guy, you know. So I was friends with a lot of people, but she did not like that. Mm -mm. So I went I got to this school in eighth grade, and she pretty much was like, in uh, sixth and seventh grade, I I have the slightest clue what drama was because there was no such thing. <laughs> But there was so much drama in 8th grade. 8th grade was a rough time for everybody. When you came to 8th grade, there was so much drama. But I valued our friendship so much that I couldn't let, it, let go of it. You were worth all of it. But I felt like at the same time you treated me like garbage. You would lie to me. You would make me feel as if it were my fault when it wasn't. I want to read this in like the Miranda voice. It sounds like something that Miranda sings would write. Literally like... This year, I wanted to let go of everything, so I started to get rid of the little things that might cause a little drama. I apologize to so many people. Maybe I hang out with what you might call the social outcasts, but at least they treat me with respect, something you barely had towards me. You were so fun to be around, Sam. Really, you were. You were fun to talk to and an amazing person to laugh with, but the drama just does not end, and it never will with you. I'm happy with... One, two, three, four, five, eleven, twelve. These twelve people that she listed, twelve friends that she has. I finally feel happy, and I hope you are too, because I, because I, I want you to be happy. Really, I do. And we were in Odyssey of the Mind, which is just like this terrible, terrible thing. We just you would have to put on a show, but we just like we'd hang out after school and just like not do anything. But these were the, what those pictures were. So here are some OM pictures that I really want you to have. I really don't want them. And I really don't want to remember them. So, yeah. Bye! And then at the bottom she says, I would really appreciate it if you kept this to yourself. And then the parentheses, but you probably won't. <laughs> you're right, B! You're right! So, school for my siblings started today. And all my friends started school today. So if you're starting school today or next week, I hope you have a really good first day and don't get bullied and are positive and have a good outlook on life and I hope you have a really good year and good luck in all your studies because I will be here making videos and doing BS schoolwork. 
so make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> no, wait, no, that's not it. That's not my sentence. <laughs> I eat shit. Why? I oh, it's all. Why do you like in my face? I.